Hi, this is Todd Whitman with Not 10 Yacht Sales. Today we're going to take a look at a 2003 Pursuit 3000 Express. Let's take a look. We're taking a look at that 2003 Pursuit 3000. Boat's in the water, fully commissioned. Owner is relocating. That's the reason for the boat being for sale. This owner, um, experienced one who uh, has owned multiple boats over the years and everything is all dialed in. The boat is extremely clean inside and out and we're gonna hop on board in, in just a bit. Nice large cockpit, wide gunnels. Walking forward is super easy. windless which you have control from at the helm he uses a cockpit cover to keep everything nice uh, when he's not using the boat there is a full canvas enclosure for the boat that is in great condition as well One of the great things about this boat, I think, is the seating. You have this little jump seat that's right behind the helm area. On port side, this is a large bait well, cooler, whatever you want it to be. There's storage throughout the entire boat. Stepping forward, you got a port side lounge seat. Three people could easily sit there. All the vinyl, I mean, I'm gonna do a close up. All the vinyl's perfect. captain's chair this does swivel once you're at the helm newer electronics you have a Garmin radar GPS uh, that's all touchscreen newer unit all your gauges toggle switches great windshield the windshield comes up a good three feet above the helm so you're if you're in rough water you're always going to have excellent visibility and you're going to be protected. Step up down below. Beautiful. Teak and holly floor. On your port side, you have your galley with a small refrigerator. There's a burner underneath here. Microwave, storage, sink. Bed. Your Two people could easily sleep on this forward berth. Fusion stereo, all Bluetooth. Scanning around to the starboard side, you have your uh, facing booth dinette. This table drops down and this whole area becomes another sleeper for possibly two, if they're small. Um, this boat does have air conditioning. It does not have a generator. Here's your distribution panel for 12 volt and shore power. We have the AC running right now. And again, the boat is clean. Scanning around as you're looking aft. On this port side, you have, of course, your head compartment with a vacuum flush head and a, uh, a shower. We're now looking at the engine room in the 2003 Pursuit 3000. Um, there's our Starboard motor, this got Crusader 5.7 MPIs with approximately 600 hours. Fresh water cooled. Here's our port motor. Let's scan over to the port side of the engine room and we'll walk through it. There you have your uh, vacuum flush head and holding tank. Scanning around aft, that's the starting battery for the port engine. Seawater strainer for your port engine and your port engine shaft log. Scanning forward in the midship, we have a strainer as well as your air conditioning pump. So seawater strainer for your AC and your AC pump. Center line battery is most likely a house battery. And right here is a water heater. Scanning over to the starboard side, you have your seawater strainer for your starboard engine, starboard engine battery, 
an additional tank which appears to be a water tank uh, you can open this with the electric engine hatch you also right here I don't know if you guys can tell that's a hatch that's in the floor of the cockpit sole where you could do a quick cursory day hatch to look to pull engine oils things of that nature I'm trying to speak here Hi, this is Todd again with Not 10 Yacht Sales. I want to thank you very much for taking the time to look at the video on the 2003 Pursuit 3000 Express that I have listed for sale. If you have any questions about this boat, my contact information is in the description of this video, as well as the current price the boat's offered for. Uh, please give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about this boat or any other boat that I might have listed for sale. Safe boating and take care.